Hello everybody, it's your boy, the almighty green talons. Intercepting a pass thrown by the quarterback. Intercepting, going for the touchdown score, six points with the kicker kicking the extra point to make it seven points for the win. Also, as always, um, all my subscribers out there, please comment, like, share, subscribe, notification bell on top. Cause when I make a video, it comes directly from me to you for your enjoyment and pleasure. And don't don't forget to also like this video. It's very important that you do it because the more you like it, the more my video and content gets out there for everybody to watch. And the more they watch, the more they can comment and click on my page. And the more clicks I get, the more um, subscribers I get. The goal is to get to 150. So I'm trying to go a little bit at a time. Right now I'm 122. So 130 will be the goal. Then 130 to 140, 140, 150 to all the way to 200. And that's the plan. Um, all my other content creators, like they got more than 100. Someone got 200 all the way up to about a thousand, or from a thousand to three, four, five thousand content um, on fans out there who watch their content. You know what I'm saying? But anyway, enough of what I'm saying. So I'm making this video for one specific reason only. Um, as you can see, um, this this video is about uh, what's going on in training camp and what's being said away from training camp. Um, sorry, I don't have anything to do with the Philadelphia Eagles right now. I got a few jerseys coming, and when the jerseys get here, I'll be able to wear them and make a video. To, 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 so it could be a proper video being made with the Eagles content. But anyway, I got this because this is a man that I bought a couple of years ago. And it's the only Eagles thing that I got right now that... Representing my feet of the Eagles birds, you know what I'm saying? So it's just the mask. But anyway, as you all have heard, there have been a lot of um things being said about the feet of the Eagles in training camp. Um, there's some words been going on about Jordan David. They said the guy has been he has been a tremendous, a tremendous display of talent on the Eagles front line. And there's word that he that he might wind up starting on, on the defensive line right away. Now Jordan Davis is probably my favorite rookie player right now because the the way they're saying it is that he could also he, he could be up for defensive rookie of the year. Now, only time I see him win defensive rookie of the year is the possibility if he get like six, seven, or eight sacks and maybe like four or five or fifty tackles. You know what I'm saying? And um, if he can get seven to ten sacks. And maybe, maybe more sacks than that. And if you get like 50, 50 or 70 um, tackles for losses, you know what I'm saying? That will that will give him the defensive rookie of the year. The Eagles haven't had a defensive rookie in the year in a year. I, I, think, I think the last defensive rookie the Eagles had was Reggie White. And you know, that's been a long time ago. Because Reggie White was drafted by the field of the Eagles in 1985. The year he was drafted. Out of the supplemental draft. He, I think he, I think he had like ten or fifteen sacks in his rookie year, and, he, and I think he won Rookie of the Year that year, which was '85. He was the last defensive rookie the Eagles have ever had in, in Eagles history. There have been a lot, a long line of defensive time the Eagles have had over the over the years, like um, like Corey Simon. Um, the Eagles have had um, let me see, we've had cornerbacks. That we, that we dressed like Lito Shepard, you know what I'm saying? Uh, Sheldon Brown. Any of these guys could have won Rookie of the Year, but they didn't because there have been other guys on opposing teams that have won Defensive Rookie of the Year. The Eagles haven't had one since 1985. So if Jordan Davis wound up being this guy, <laughs> and I mean this guy, he could be that guy, literally, to win Defensive Rookie of the Year. That would be Tremendous, you know what I'm saying? And they've been thinking, been saying about Jalen Hurts. They said Hurts had been throwing the ball pretty well, you know what I'm saying? Get, get, get it out of the out of his hands right away. They said he have he have he been throwing some some long balls, and he also been throwing some some dink dunk balls here and there, you know what I'm saying? And they said he threw for I think one or two picks, I believe. I could be wrong on that, but but, but I'm hearing, you know, you know what I'm saying? And so a lot of being said about the Eagle training camp, and there've been some winners. You know what I'm saying? Um, Jordan Davis, the main one. They've been saying about um, AJ Brown. They've been saying about Devontae Smith, aka Slim, aka uh, Slim Shady. You know what I'm saying? So you got all these guys 
they've been doing they've been doing surely with training camp and training camp is just it's just, it's just four days in you know what I'm saying so or maybe more that could be wrong I, I won't say four days in but it could be five days in I'm not exactly sure but all I know is training camp ain't gonna be two weeks this week and next week and then after next week is the first preseason game the Eagles gonna play because see now they're in pads and so they I, I think they got in pads yesterday well I think yesterday is the day they, the day they got in pads so. They training camp Saturday and Saturday Sunday just passed. I think it was Saturday. I, 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 I think they had Sunday off, I believe. But training camp continued today, and it also continued. I mean, yesterday and the day. So it's like five or probably six days in in training camp overall. Um, I'm just waiting for the for the season to get started. You know what I'm saying? They ain't got so we got we got a, a, an array of talent. You know what I'm saying on defense. We recently signed um on uh, was it Blackberry or um Black? I think it was, I think I think it Blackberry. I, think, I could be wrong about this name. I, I think I'm wrong with this name. I believe I, I won't say Blackberry, but I could be wrong. But he he's the cornerback the Eagles signed to a one year deal from the New York Giants after two years ago having the Pro Bowl All Pro season with the New York Giants. And so the Giants cut this off season and the Eagles picked him up and signed him on a one year deal. I think it's fifteen or fourteen million for the for the year alone. And so he him being compared or being compared to with uh, uh, uh with Slay, Eagles got one of the best cornerback duos in the NFL and been a long time since we had that the last time we had cornerback duo this good was Lito and Sheldon Brown. Those were our last best cornerback duos and that was when Andy Reid was the head coach. And so, um, a long time has been awaiting that the Eagles have had this much talent to put on this team. You know what I'm saying? And so, um, they said now back to Jordan Davis. Jordan, they said Jordan Davis has been bull rushing a lot of the offensive guards and centers. You know what I'm saying? And they said, and they said um, Cam Jerkins is the only, only offensive lineman who stood him up. So, that's a good thing, which means that I'm not exactly sure how he did it, but he stood him up. And so, uh, for Cam Jordan to actually, be, for, I mean, for Cam Jurgen to, to stand up one of the best, one of the up, up and coming best defense tackles in the game, that then go show that, 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 that Cam, that Cam Jurgen's pretty much ready to go. Pretty much ready to roll. And so, um, this is Jason Kelsey's last and final year. At the Philadelphia Eagles, he's now going to his 12th season in the NFL. He's a future Hall of Fame center, and I can't wait to see him see him make the Hall of Fame in the next five years from now. That, that, that if he's a first ballot, there are a lot of centers. Well, there's not many centers in the NFL. There are a lot of um, offensive tackles in the NFL. There's not many guards, and there's not many centers in the NFL. I think it's three or maybe four centers. But back in them days, centers had to make centers, centers, centers had to play. Multiple positions. They had to play the guard or, or right or left tackle, depending on where they were placed and placed and put in position to, to play these roles. You know what I'm saying? So that was back in the day. So there's not many centers in the NFL or straight up centers. Not many, not many in the NFL that's in the Hall of Fame. I think it's three, maybe four. To my knowledge, I could be wrong on that, but I have to do some research and come back to you guys with another date on that and for uh, centers in the NFL that's in the Hall of Fame. So anyway. So, like I said, on the wide receivers been doing pretty good. The running game been going on, and they and they saying Miles, they saying Miles Sanders got a lot to prove, and he better because this, this is a contract year for him. Um, he this is his fourth year in the NFL. His first year he broke out, had like nine hundred yards, eight nine hundred yards rushing. The second year around the same time. And the third year, which was last year, he had an injury plague season, so he didn't play much of last year because of because of the injuries. And this year alone, he's saying that he's trying to book himself up, get himself prepared for the season for the long haul. They say he had some weight, and so they say he haven't lost no speed. He just picked up a little bit more weight, you know, for the long seventeen game grind and coming in a month, coming in a month and a half away now. So. Uh, a lot is being said, and, and 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 I am happy to hear all good news. They say that the, they say that the defense has been on point and on key. See, I'm a defensive minded guy. I want to see defense take advantage of good offenses and get bull rushes and, and get to the quarterback and sack the quarterback and stop the run game. 
for losses. I'm, I'm a defensive minded guy. I want to see the, the defense get on fire. I want to see the defense push and get up field, get to the quarterback, do what need to be done to make tackles and make stop for losses. You know what I'm saying? I, that, that's what I've been seeing. That, that, that's what I've heard. You know what I'm saying? So it, 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 it's, it's beautiful to hear that the offensive line has been doing pretty good, but they so-so. They say that the, 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 the defensive line is on point. The offensive line has taken a step back, so we know how. So we'll see how that go. Also, there's also word going on, and that that the um that media have been dogging the Eagles' offensive line because they haven't caught up. Now y'all got to understand this is a, this is training camp. Training camp is where you go to play, go to practice, and it, and, it, and if there's any errors. That being made, have been made on the field. That's why the coaches are there. That's why you got offensive coaches and defensive coaches. They are there to correct the mistakes that been that, that you made after you had a long off season. You got so you got to look at it. That's all. That's a long off season in the NFL after the game after the season come to an end. It's a long season. So prayers, so prayers get to relax. And, you know what I'm saying? So so they forget about what what they done in training camp. Or the, or the long haul for the regular season because you got to look at also this way. That's why they call it preseason game because preseason game is where you make errors and they want to be corrected before the next game goes on. Corrections are, are made to corrections are made to be talk taken taken advantage of. Players that make mistakes will get corrected on the field of play, and that's why they got film studied for. So when you so when offensive coaches and defense coaches go back into Northern Care Complex, they are there to show film of the players when they make these mistakes so they can teach them how to correct them. That's why it's called training camp. So people need to stop really talking about or I mean, taking the negative and making it a bad situation. And there's no time for that. I mean, this is training camp. It's it, 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 pretty much two weeks or one half week, depending on how you look at it. You know what I'm saying? So, so it's a grind. It's a hot season. Play and put on these. Put, put them jerseys on. The jerseys are made of, of satin. And satin does get hot. It gets hot. So you got to stay out there in that sun and take the long grind. Play. Get in position to make your plays. Do what needs to be done to correct your error before the first preseason come to a pass. You know what I'm saying? So, I mean, it's so much. And they need to be discussed and talked about. So, like I said, I'm hearing a lot, a lot of good things in training camp, but some negative based on offensive, on the offensive woes. You know what I'm saying? So, I mean, it's a lot to, it's a lot to digest. And that's one of the reasons why y'all, y'all gotta be patient out there and let these guys do their thing, do what they get paid for. You gotta look at it this way: training camp players don't get paid in training camp. You don't get paid. You're, you're gonna get paid when you play. Week one, you don't get paid in preseason games either. You don't get paid at all. That's why they call it training camp. That's why they call it OTAs. That's why they call it mini camps. And that's why they call it preseason. Because preseason determines your fate. It let it let the coaches know how well you learn, or how, how well you learn, or what you picked up on small on small um, information, and take full advantage of it on the field. That's what it's all about. That's what you got to do. That's what needs to be done. You don't get paid for preseason games. You don't get paid for OTAs. You don't get paid. Well, I, yeah, I think you do get paid for OTA. Come think about it because it's called, um, it called a roster bonus. So, um, yeah, I think about that for a minute. You do get paid for OTAs because that's because when that season kicks off, or you get your roster bonus. And, and, and um, preseason games, no roster bonus. You don't get your off the bonus in OTA. So, so when you show up, so when you show up at the, the Novacare Complex, the Eagles or all third two teams in the NFL gives you your roster the bonus for the season. And then after the season gets going, then you get paid your regular game checks. That's how it goes in the NFL, y'all. So keep your money on lock. Keep thinking. Keep watching the games. Keep watching these on uh, uh, um, social media like John Clark and the rest of the other guys that's on. Um, yeah, and Darius Dar- Badero, you got to look at all these guys, and Frank Duffy. All these guys are bringing you information about our teams. Let, let them know how, how well our teams are doing, 
what they've got to do to get better in the trenches to win football games. That's what it comes down to. So for me to come in and preach and let you guys know what's really going on, this is this is called the NFL mind. You have to watch. You have to learn. You have to listen. And when you do listen, when you pick up on certain things or what teams are talking about or what the commentators are speaking of, so once you learn... You get Nick picks here, add to your notebook, and you make your content like what I'm doing right now. You know what I'm saying? So that's what it comes down to. I mean, there's a lot of guys out there on social media. That's on social media on YouTube now. Um, my main man LB Philly 500, um, BG 31, uh, 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 um, uh, 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 Notion, Eagle Champ. I mean, I can go on with a lot, a lot of uh, my favorite content creator because these are the guys I watch on a regular basis. Um, so it's so many guys. It's it's over a hundred of uh, uh, it's over a hundred YouTube creators out there. Some of y'all got your own shows. You know what I'm saying? So I'm watching y'all, and with, and what you guys say, I try to incorporate a little bit of what you say and add to my add to my repertoire and get it going. But um, sometimes I don't. So I just try to feed off what I feed off with what I hear on social media, Facebook, yada yada yada. Add to my repertoire and come on here and make a video for you guys to see what I'm coming from and for what I've heard and for what I've seen on these videos. So, so with me doing this, it's a pleasure. Cause like I said, I got over 700 videos, and man, most of them. Are uh, eagle content, some of them are unboxing content, and some of them are comic book content. So I try to do an array of things to keep everybody's mind interested in what I do. Cause some of you guys out there do eagle content, and so some of you guys do game footage. What I mean, game, I'm talking about video game footage. And so, and, and with me not being a video game, I mean, I like video games, but I'm not that deep into it like I used to be. See, when, when I was a child, I used to play video games, but as I got older, I kind of weary off of them. So I'm not really a video. I'm, I'm not really a video game uh, I'm watcher. I mean, I'll play it. You know what I'm saying? But I won't. I'm not deep into it while I'm in while I'm in the game watching and someone talking behind me or trying try, try to interfere with my game and I'm concentrating. I ain't got time for that. I mean, like I said, I I, I just. I just like doing what I do, and I'm not a video game uh, 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 content creator. Some of you guys out there do you, you do most all video games. Some of you guys do video games and content creation, and some of you guys just do a, an array of a lot like I do. Like I said, I just do comic books. I do um, unboxing, unwrapping, and I also do eagle content. The, 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 the only three things I do, and every now and then I might add a meme. On my on my page, you know, to occupy time. So that's also part of my um seven hundred plus videos, and that's that's on my video channel as currently as we speak. So I'm making this video now, and it'll be part of the seven hundred. And um overall, so the Eagles are having pretty good. They're doing pretty good right now in training camp. You know what I'm saying? The coaches are, are on fire. They are ready to get they ready to get everything in motion and for the first preseason game. I for, I forgot who we play. I think it's the Miami Dolphins, I believe, because they say the Miami Dolphins are supposed to come into the Eagles into North Carolina Complex and do some scrimmage plays against them. So the Eagles see now you either, you either have one team you play against for scrimmage or you have two. I think the Eagles got two. I know Miami for and for one. Fourth, the Jets. I'm not exactly sure, but the Jets, it may be the Jets. I know, I know, I know, I know. We had the New York Jets last year in the last game scrimmage last year. So it might, it might, it could be New York again. We don't know. You know what I'm saying? I know the year before that, you know, several years back, we had the Miami. We had the um, New England Patriots. That was three or four years ago. And so, um, so they've been doing, they've been, they've been doing pretty good with, with the scrimmage. So I'm hoping that the scrimmage will get the Miami Dolphins or get the team ready to go because I know they're getting tired of hitting each other. So they want to hit, uh, uh, they want to hit another team with another logo. And you can't blame them for that. That's what it, it been that way in the NFL. Miami Dolphins want to hit us, and we want to hit them. So it, 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 it's about the physicality of the game because see, that's why they're in training camp now. That non-contact training camp, which means that you can tackle, you can wrap them up, but you can't take to the ground. So um, with the Miami Dolphins game, I mean, the Miami Dolphins scrimmage that's coming up in the coming days, I believe, 
the Eagles will be, 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 be able to hit somebody and take them to the ground. So, so it's all it's all it's all about being physical at the point of attack and letting you know, letting them know that we are here and we are here to stay and we ain't no joke whatsoever when it comes to that. So, so anyway, that's what I want to come on in and talk to you guys about the Eagles training camp. You know what I'm saying? I'm stoked. It may it may, it may not look like it, but I, after making this long video, it should. Give some, give you some idea that I am actually excited more than excited because it's been a long wait. We have been looking at basketball with the um Golden State Warriors winning the, the championship back, back here two months ago. You know what I'm saying? And so baseball has just kicked off. No, I'm sorry, baseball been around, been playing for a while. Right now, it's now over a hundred some games now being played because because I'm a Yankees fan and, and New York Yankees are currently seventy and thirty four. So it's so it's, it's already it's already over over hundred games played in in the NFL in, in in Major League Baseball now. And coming to an end, everybody know that you got uh, August and September, and I told me some September, yeah, August and September, and then then September the World Series. So so it's a basic two it's basically two more basically this month and next month when the main when Major League come to an end, I mean you just got all football and got called college football. Matter of fact. College football kicks off two weeks before the NFL, so I'm 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 highly stoked on that. I'm a Tennessee Vols fan, and um, the Vols last year gave me a surprise. They really did. They had a high powered offense, but the, the but the defense was kind of mediocre at best because we had patches here on defense and patches here on the linebacker and patches patches on on on. on on the on the cornerback and the defensive back fact field, you know what I'm saying? So but this year gonna be a different story because we got a new coach and Josh Hyper who is now in his second year with the Tennessee Vols. So in two weeks, college football will be back. So I'll be able so I'll be able to look at some football. If it ain't the pros in if the if the if the next level from from the pros then and college football. So I can't wait for that to get started. I know that's some Philadelphia Eagle fans um, that, uh, that are either um, Temple or Penn State fans, you know what I'm saying, out that way, or Pitts fans for that matter, you know what I'm saying. So it, it, it it's a lot. So um, sorry to get off track, but I'm I'm, I'm just so highly up on football right now. Either college or pro, I'll be happy with either one of them. College or pro, you know what I'm saying. And so college is upon us in the next two two weeks. I can't wait to watch start watching college football because there's gonna be so many games playing. When when it's done, you know what I'm saying, and then after that, then, then you got the NFL and going to get started. NFL starts in September. College football starts at the end of August. It's always it's always the third week. It's always the third week of August when college football jumps off. So, uh, and, and right now we are right now this August this August the second. So we got two more weeks before college football even jumps off. So I'm stoked and ready for that. I mean, football is football regardless of pro, college, or high school. For that matter, and um, all that's gonna jump off, and I am really, really happy that college football is about to get started, along with the NFL about to get started. So, which one, which one are y'all? I actually ain't ancient to see college football or the pros. Um, to me, it's both. So, uh, with this, with me asking this question, you you guys please go in the comment section below and let me know which one you are more anxious to see, college football or the pros. To me, like I said, to me it's both. I really don't, I really, I really don't hardly care about high school football, but I ha I have been to one high school football only once in once in my young adult life, but I never been to it frequently like most parents go to. Most parents go to see their kids play college, play at the high school level. And then you know you know there's um college scouts that's watching these young kids play. They try to recruit them and get them into the college of their choice. So I'm not really into high school football because too much that too much leg going on. So I'm I'm most into pro and most into the college level football. So like I said before, which which uh, 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 football are you are you ready to see the college or the pro? Please come in the comment section below and let me know what your thinking is. I'm quite sure I might get one or two comments, maybe three, depending on who, if the person is who's seen this video firsthand. So, 
Um, anyway, let me go in the video because right now I am 24 minutes in this video because I've been doing a lot of talking pertaining to college, pro, um, OTAs, what I've been hearing in training camps and for players and one that's up and coming. Jordan Davis is up and coming, man. I mean, this guy jersey, I'm, I'm trying to get. Matter of, fact, I have, matter of fact, I got three jerseys coming. Jordan Davis is one. But the other two guys, I'm not going to tell you guys yet, but you can wonder. <laughs> If you want to, bug your little brain out, do what you want to do. But I got I got three jerseys coming, and I'm, and Jordan Davis is one. You no, know, so he's one. Also, I'm gonna try to go back and see the jersey number number ninety. Um, I can't exactly see say, but I think I I think the last the last defensive player to wear number ninety, as far as I'm concerned. Was uh, uh um was um Corey Simon who was the first round pick way back in two thousand. He was the first, even first round pick. And he wore number ninety, and there been uh, have been some other guys to wear that jersey number, but they haven't been off the charts or or, or just literally started. See, Corey Simon came to the NFL. He came out. He came. He came from Florida State as a senior. He can draft them. I think a top 15 pick in the, in the NFL draft back in 2000. He wound up starting from 2000 to 2005, I believe. They, they, they think 2005 last time he started. He won a new contract. The Eagles, when the Eagles put the franchise tag on him, and he he didn't want to be franchised, so the Eagles let him go. And he wound up signing with the Indianapolis Colts. And I think he played three years with Indianapolis. Uh, I think he, I think the Eagles, I think, I think, I think, I think the Colts cut him one year. Before Peyton Manning won the Super Bowl with the Colts, had he played the year that the, the, the year they won, he, he would have a Super Bowl ring. But I think he was cut the year before they won the Super Bowl ring. So Corazon was the last Eagle, in my opinion, to to wear number nine. That was that was um, number one overall to wear that that, that jersey number. So, um, so, so like I said, Ernie Bill, the last Eagle player to win Rookie of the Year. In my opinion, with Reggie White, might have been, um, you know what? I, I forgot about Jerome Brown. I think Jerome Brown won Defensive Rookie of the Year, too. And that was back in 91. With Jerome Brown was drafted in 1991. Um, 91, 2, 3, 4. No, hold on. Hold on. 89, 90, I'm sorry, yeah. Jerome Brown was drafted in 1990. The year he was drafted, he was drafted in 1990 by um by Buddy Ryan. Cause Buddy Ryan coached two more years before he was fired. So Jerome Brown was killed in 1992 in a car accident. They say he um according to Reggie White, Reggie White said that he was going real fast on on the expressway or something, and, 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 and he head collided with a car. And he and he died upon the impact, and that what Reggie and that what that what Reggie White said to, about Jerome Brown, because him and Jerome Brown were really close, and so I want to say Jerome Brown was the last defensive player to win Rookie of the Year. I, I thought I think about it for a minute. I thought it was Reggie White. I know, I know Reggie White did did win Rookie of the Year back in '85, and I think 1990. With the year Jerome Brown won won Rookie of the Year, so so Jerome Brown was probably the last defensive player to win Defensive Rookie of the Year. If my opinion, I could be wrong on that, but if it is, you guys um, come in the comment section below. So 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 that two questions: Who are you most interested? Which program are you most interested to see, college or pro? And who was the last? Defensive player to win defensive rookie of the year for the Philadelphia Eagles. In my opinion, with Jerome Brown, I have to correct myself for making earlier video. I said Reggie White, but I think I think Jerome Brown was the last Eagles player to win defensive defensive rookie of the year. I think he had like nine or ten sacks that that year, I believe. Because uh, Jerome Brown has forty sacks in the in in the four in in the four years he played with the Eagles. I mean, the three three yeah five years he played with the Eagles five years, but he had. Four sacks. I mean, he had forty sacks, I believe. Five years because he he died in the fifth year. Nine, ninety-one, ninety-two, ninety-three. No, hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Damn. 
I don't, I don't know what I'm thinking about. Jerome Brown drafted in 89. 89, 90, 91, 92. 89, 90, 91, 92. He played for the Philadelphia Eagles and he had four, he had he had 40 sacks all together. Over, over, over 40 sacks. The fifth year, 9, 1992, 89, 91, 92. Yeah. Jerome Brown was killed in nineteen ninety. 92. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me go back. Let me go back and do some thinking for me. Hold on. Reggie White left the Eagles in 90, 94? Yeah, 90, 90, 90, yeah, 90, yeah, yeah. 94 is the year Reggie White left the Philadelphia Eagles. Was it 93? 93, 92, 91, 90, 89, 89, 91, 92. Yeah, that's right. Jerome Brown was drafted in 89, from 89 to 92. And I think he was killed. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Reggie White left the Eagles in 98, I mean, in, in, in 93, when he was a free agent. That, that when the free agents had begun, was 93. After the year he left, Jerome Brown died in 92. So... Uh, ninety-two. So, 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 Jerome Brown was drafted in nineteen eighty-eight, eighty-eight, eighty-nine, nine, ninety-one. That's right, ninety-one. So, so those four years, eighty-nine, ninety-one, oh, eighty-eight, eighty-nine, nine, ninety-one. He has over forty sacks. Ninety-two was the year he was killed. I think about it. He was killed ninety-two. And 93 is the year Reggie White left. Yeah, I'm glad I got, I'm glad I got that right. So 88 was the year Jerome Brown was drafted. I'm sorry, y'all. Uh, if you guys see this video, um fast forward it and come to this come, come to this session right here of the video and listen to listen to what I'm saying. Cause like I said, I, 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 I had to correct myself three or four different times to make sure I get the information that I'm giving to you guys correct. See, I'm old school. Been Eagles, Eagles been an Eagle fan since 1980. So Jerome Brown drafted in 88, 88 to 92. That's four years that he played with the Philadelphia Eagles. And, oh, I'm sorry, 91. 88, 89, 90, 91. 91, 91. If the, if the year that he also had double-digit sacks, and, he, and, and, and I want to say he went to the Pro Bowl. He's a, he's a Pro Bowler. I think he's a three-time Pro Bowler, two-time All-Pro. Um, if rookie year, um, to 88, 88, 89, and 90. In '91, with the Pro Bowl those them four years, but he's a three-time All-Pro. '92 is the year he was killed, and '93 is the year Reggie White left. And to this day, I believe if Jerome Brown was still alive with the Philadelphia Eagles, this is just my opinion. Now, if I'm wrong, I'm wrong. I'm quite sure some of you Eagles fans probably thought this as well. I believe if Jerome Brown was still alive with 